things. So I'm trying to think of an example. Um, Oh, yeah, I'm trying to think of an example. But you go for coffee with a new person, somebody who um, found you on the Internet or maybe linked in or something like that. And you you look at this person's profile and you think, uh, we don't have anything in common. I don't see any sort of connection between what I do and what this person does. But if you decide to go for coffee with that person, you're going to learn something new. And there's a reason that person connected with you, wanted to connect with you. You're going to find out what that is. And from that reason is going to come something beneficial to you. If you have faith in that and are open to that, then you can start to build the connection between what seems to be disparate people, disparate events, disparate things. I hope that answers your question. Sure. Thank you for that incredible insight, um, Kim. Uh, so uh, let's talk about time management, right? Um, what are some, some top tips for managing time effectively, both professionally and also in the own front? <laughs> yes, this is a tricky question because I, oh. I, I very much struggle with time management. Huh. I tend to take on too many things. I tend to say yes to too many things. So therefore, my time starts to feel crunched and I get stressed and anxious and things start falling off my screen. So something that I find extremely beneficial is a morning ritual, which sets my mind in the right place, focuses my mind on two at most three goals for my day making sure those goals are aligned with my larger goals so that I feel like I can make progress and that I go forward into my days, my weeks, my months with less stress. Um, Time management in my experience um, is really a function of managing a degree of stress. Um, when I know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it in a certain day, I can reduce that stress. I can also build in certain mindfulness um, activities, very brief, very short, uh, every hour that will also help me. I have an app on my phone called the Mindfulness app, which plays a really pretty chime at the top of each hour. And I am training myself to take three deep breaths at the top of every hour. Every hour, This slows me down a little bit, lets me check in to where I am in my day, allows me the chance to dissociate a bit from what I'm working on to uh, get a larger picture and a larger view of my progress. The other tool that I would recommend is something called, and this is what I use, but it could come in multiple forms, is some sort of journal, some sort of journal slash calendar where you can clearly see and reflect on and get in touch with the goals that you are trying to achieve each day and each week. And the one I use is called the best self, uh, the self journal from the best self company. Awesome. Thank you once again, Kim. Very well. Um, Life is a process, right? Not a thing. You like to share your thoughts on this. Oh, yes. Life is definitely a process, not a thing. I think some of us at least, well, a lot of us, at at least in my country, um, seem to think that life is about acquiring things. We, we, We have a culture that largely has been built on successful marketing. 
So they are marketing all kinds of products to us, whether or not we need them. Um, but some of us grew up in this sort of atmosphere. And I think it's done many people in our country a real disservice. Um, life is not a collection of things. It is a process. It is a journey. And we're here to learn and grow and discover and experience. Um, over the holidays, you know, the Christmas holidays, we, everybody gives each other presents. And for a number of years now, uh, I've gotten my family to not give me presents. I, I ask for experiences, you know, even small ones, you know, a, a coupon for a massage or somebody will, my daughter would create a coupon that was good for three hours of weeding in the garden, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just <laughs> right. Experiences, not stuff. So, uh, wow. but yeah. And I, I love that concept of Ebola. I, life is life is experience, it's yes. not things. Yeah. Do you know that? Um, thank you, Kim. Do you know that I had a guest who, 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 who talked about um, this also. I had a guest who focused on experience. He said he would rather love experience. He would rather love to live in the present moment and enjoy his bounties, right? Rather than, you know, taking it back to the past or hoping for the future that's yet to come. So, and you're talking about um, experience once again. So I think that uh, there's something about this experience. I love to experience something too. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, yeah. I also have to say, um, just full disclosure, I struggle with some things. I tend to be a real clothes horse. My closet is jam-packed full. And I have gone on a diet for the last three months, no purchasing of any clothes. But what I have discovered is the same amount of fun with way less money expended in just putting together outfits in, with stuff I already have. And it, it's much more satisfying. Gosh. Also... I've also gotten a lot of enjoyment about getting giving things away, you know, something that I know would look great on one of my friends and seeing it on her, you know, that, that makes me feel really pleased and happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim um, Dawkins, uh, right, um, for your beautiful insight on today's show. Do you have any projects in the pipeline? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm writing a book. <clears throat> I'm writing a book on listening, uh, listening styles, head, hand, and heart listening. So uh, this will be for people who do coaching and counseling. And um, I'm looking forward to fleshing that out. And I'm uh, I just started a program through Positive Intelligence. Shirzad Shamin is a coach who's been in the coaching space for a long time. And he has a, a, a program for coaches called Positive Intelligence. So I'm going to be certified as a mental fitness coach. Uh, and I just launched on that journey recently. So yeah. Awesome. Good to know Thank that. You. I wish you best of luck, right? And all your uh, you. future endeavors, right? Do you have any social media connections? Oh, yes. I know you do. Yes. Um, LinkedIn. I'm definitely on LinkedIn. And then uh, people can get a hold of me at yournugget.com, Y O U R N U G G E T.com. All right. I'm going to look out for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you oh, so much. Thank you once again, Kim Dawkins. I had an incredible time on today's show. Wish you best of luck always, right? Thank you for joining me on the thank show today. I really had an incredible time with Kim Dawkins on today's show. I needed to stay safe always. With all my love, I talk to you soon. Bye for now. Goodbye. Bye. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. 